Hi, welcome back to Corky Drones. Today we're going to look at the Eishi E13 or the Small Pepper. Hi, welcome back. Today we've got the Eishi E13 or the Small Pepper. It's been out quite a bit. Uh, it's an all-in-one FPV package. So you get the drone, the transmitter, and the goggles. So let's just see what you get in the box. So in here you have the E13 drone, the transmitter, some stickers to decorate your drone with, a box of accessories. So let's have a look at the drone first. So the drone is your tiny whoop style, um, very small battery as you can see. It is, I think it's a 200 milliamp hour 1S battery, single connector in the bottom. So nice and easy to fit, no trailing wires. Uh, this isn't, this is an all-in-one board with soldered connectors to the motors. What, it, what you have is what you get, you can't do any adjustments on beta flight or anything like that with this. It's got a 600 TVL camera. Comes with a controller which has nice little metal ends on and then you've got a flip button and you've got a rates bum and the trim takes three AAA, AAA, AAA batteries and you also get a set of goggles so they, these are the Eashin VR006's these are the single antenna type uh, three inch screen rechargeable charges by USB, it has a built-in battery um, now box goggles are for everybody you have to have decent vision, if you need glasses these are no good for you, you can't adjust anything there's no adjustments on here, you can't adjust the IVDs or anything because it's single screen and it has a, I think it's a Fresnel lens in there, magnifying lens and just a 3 inch screen but decent quality for beginners for beginners these are fantastic you can't really go wrong and for the money great and then you have a little box of accessories so you get charging cable the all-important screwdriver four spare props you get the antenna for the goggles some cleaner for cleaning the goggles and the cleaning cloth and then you get the strap which goes onto each side and over the head. So it is a three position strap. Also in here, there is a nose piece, so you can put that on there. Um, dependent on how your nose fits in there, there is a little foam bit in the bag that you can stick on to there to make it a better fit, to kill light. These actually aren't too bad goggles. I uh, can't really show it. It's virtually impossible to pick up a picture from um, the camera on these. But as you can see, you get the antenna. For indoor, this is fine. And it, for the distance you're going to be flying this away, this is probably fine. If you find you're struggling, you can buy a better antenna for it. Because this really isn't an outdoor, it doesn't really, any kind of wind at all, it won't move, it'll just stay virtually where it is. But for indoors, it's fantastic. So let's have a little, let's take a little look at it. Let's just power it up. The battery's snug in there. You certainly can't get a bigger battery in. You get about four minutes flight time, something like that. No real, no more than four minutes really. And it is really really fiddly to get this cable in here I find it fiddly anyway let me just um, plug that in there I've got the cable in turn your transmitter on up and down on your throttle to bind it one two three you're it flip button um, if you're flying it indoors, I recommend rate two if you've flown before. If you've complete novice mode, uh, rate one, but you'll soon move up to rate two. It's a bit slow on the yaw and rate one. So let's just put my monitor here that I used for setting up. 
So let's just have a quick look at this. Let's just turn that on. Okay, and then hit the search button and see if we can find it. There you go. So as you can see, that's your view from the quad. No latency. And does it have noise? As you can see, no noise. There's nothing picking up on the screen. Through goggles, it looks amazing. I would just make it wonder if there was any noise if I tried using the monitor. Picture's clear. As you can see, it gets quite close up, and the field of view isn't massive. It's not very wide. Perfect for flying around the house, though. I, I have no problems with it flying it around the house. Um, it did exactly what I wanted it to do. So, these cost around on eBay £55 um, if you buy the whole set. So, that's that, that, and that. I think it's £35 or £37 with no goggles. If you're buying this, you may as well buy the goggles. If you've already got the goggles, obviously buy this, buy this one. Now, the only problem with this is a lot of people have said that this doesn't bind to the jumper, and it doesn't. It's using a different protocol than the E010. So you can't bind this to a jumper. So you're stuck, unfortunately, at the minute, flying it with this transmitter. Absolutely nothing wrong with this transmitter. It's, I haven't got an issue with it. It feels I just don't like the small transmitters. And I fly my mode one. So for me it's difficult to fly mode 2, especially FPV, so I would struggle with this. However, I bought it to review. So from a review point of view, I've flown it around and it's nice. It, it's quite positive. It's not as nice as it would be if you put it on a different controller. But it's very similar to the EO10, um, not got as much power. And if anything, that's the only thing it does. It lacks a bit of punch. If you're not a beginner, I wouldn't recommend it. If you're a beginner wanting to get into FPV for the money, yeah, I recommend it. It's got everything you need in there. The goggles, the transmitter, the drone, the battery. I'll try and pick up another battery because that won't last two minutes. The, the wear, it looks a cheap battery. A few charges will probably be gone. So I'd look to pick up some batteries. I think you can buy probably four or five of these for a tenner. Um, if you shop around buy the bulk deal ones um, and it certainly is worth doing so like i say if if you're looking if you're not if you're a beginner yeah because it's cheaper than buying the transmitter a drone and a pair of goggles obviously you're not going to get anything for this kind of money if you want to spend a bit more money then there is a better things out there than this, don't get me wrong, you can pick up the EO10 is better than this but you need a controller for it and you need some goggles. You can pick these up for around £25 if you shop around on Banggood and places like that. A cheap transmitter is going to probably cost you between 40 and 50 quid, and then 40 or £50 for the drone. So you're probably looking at £110, £115 to get into it the other way but it might be something you want to do. So I recommend this if you're a beginner. For an intermediate pilot, I'd, I'd stay away from it. It's not got enough punch. Uh, it's quite precise, but it's just not got enough punch. You'll soon get bored of it if you've been flying a bit. So, thanks very much for watching. Hope you have a great day and get some flying done. <laughs>